Hello Kaiser fans from all over the world. Before starting this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Doing this, you will be able to reach faster my content. Here is the Jet Fighter Casio, as we have here a watch that is very resilient to an airplane cockpit. Stay tuned to find out more about this AE2000W. This would be the top model from the range of AE series, as we have the AE1000, 1200, 1300, 1500, this one and the AE2100. If you guys know more models for this series, please let me know in the comments. We see here a case which is very similar with the WV200E. Make sure you see that video as well. In regards to the dimensions, we see here a case which has a diameter of um, 47 millimeters, a lug to lug of 45 millimeters, and the thickness is 15 millimeters. And yes, we have here the cockpit design with three displays on top, which are somehow useless. Beside the right display which shows indication in regards to the alarm, the signal and the mute of the watch. The digits are pretty large. This means that the watch is very very visible especially in low light conditions. On the bottom of the display we have the information in regards to the weekday, the month and the month day for sure. As we know Casio, we have all the informations which are related to the main features as you have the illuminator the world time, the water resistance, which is in this case is 200 meters, and also the battery, which has a lifespan of around 10 years, for sure. If you will keep using the light, this will decrease. And yes, the pushers are written as well, as we have the light pusher, the search pusher, mode pusher, and the adjust pusher. Now let's discuss a little about the module. The module name is 3199. As watching on the internet and uh, scrolling through this watch features, this is very similar or not similar, identical with the features of the AE1200. This is the timekeeping mode. And for sure, on bottom of the display, we have the date. Pressing the search, we get the preset four time zones that uh, you are allowed to select. T2, T3, T4, and T1 is the one that we have. Pressing light, we get the light. Uh, let me close my light to see how it looks in the dark or in darker. Yes, it's pretty visible. Let's see if the AE has the same. Oh, I guess the AE light is stronger. This might be, mm, I guess the AE uses two two LEDs and uh, this one uses only one because the top of the display is not that maybe it's broken maybe the light is broken the LED is broken or maybe the battery is close to being drained completely but still from the timekeeping mode if we need to adjust the time we only need to long press adjust and we have the possibility to set up the seconds, the daylight saving time, time zone, the hour, minutes, the 24 or 12 hour format, the year, date, day, and this is the timer related to the light, one second or three seconds. And yes, to save, adjust again. From the timekeeping mode, if you press mode once, we enter in the world time. This watch has around 31 time zones related to 48 cities well i did not check all of them but this is how casio offers usually the next mode is by pressing two times and we get the alarm mode we have five different alarms to set up and yes we can enable or not the hourly chimes if we press three times mode, we get into the timer feature. Four times we have the stopwatch feature. And 
this would be all the modes and the features that this watch has. So we can see that this watch has a lot of scratches also on the display. This one was bought from the second hand market with 8 euros and you can see also that the bracelet it's not the original one it's not even a Casio bracelet therefore I will change the bracelet of this watch but before doing this let's take down this strap that it has I will now go and uh, wash the watch. Prior to that, let's discuss a little about the back case. Nothing particular to see, except that it is dirty at this point. We have the module name, the model name, it's made of stainless steel, the back case, the water resistance, and it is made in China. Four screws are here to secure the module and to assure the water resistance whoa now definitely i will go and wash it yes now i'm in the bathroom i hope i do not do anything silly for washing the watch i will use dish detergent and some uh, cotton pads Here you can see this is made from the shoulder of the strap. I will avoid pressing the pushers because underwater it's not recommend to press the pushers. We will wait for it to dry and then we will continue. Now that we have cleaned it, we can see that it display is now i guess it can be seen that it is more accurate or more visible for sure the scratches are there we could not uh, remove them now it can be seen that also on uh, this metal side on this silver side the scratches are more visible nevertheless now let's take the new bracelet that we have acquired and see the difference this is the box or the envelope in which was placed the strap yes here is the strap we can see that the links are folded yeah this quality only folded links it is brushed silver brushed and here we have the links that we can remove in order to adjust we have one two three four on this side and one two four on the other side the clasp is highly adjustable so we have a four position in order to adjust it to unlock the clasp you need to press on the side and it's made of stainless steel and also here we have some id number at the end we can see it has a plastic on the end and this plastic would fit directly into the watch to not have more headaches i will just tear down this bracelet good Now this is the watch, I have assembled the bracelet, I hope it stays pretty good, for sure I would oh, definitely need to remove some links because it's huge. I have adjusted the bracelet. I will put it on the wrist to see how it looks. What is your opinion? Maybe some 
small adjustment here that I need to do it but in the end I guess it looks okay right am I right am I wrong yeah looks a little dodgy this bracelet but nevertheless it is the bracelet that we have and it is dedicated for this watch all right so we have identified the first issue for this watch you definitely can see the display we have some steam under the glass therefore I will open the watch to see what exactly has happened maybe we do not have a rubber seal maybe something is not properly closed therefore we will check together so we can see that I could easily untighten the screws just with the head of the screwdriver now that the watch is opened we can see that there is no gasket for sure the reason of getting foggy now we are slowly removing the mechanism to see if it is inserted correctly and also to check if this watch has two leds for the illuminator seems to have just one and yes the panel of the display is correctly inserted Lucky me, I have an old AE1000 and the gasket suits perfectly. Before putting it together, I will replace this old Panasonic battery with a newer one. To do this, just open the clip that secures the battery with the help of a needle. Make sure that the clip is 90 degrees banded. After this, with the needle, make contact between the PCB and the battery cover next to the AC mark. Now I will put the mechanism in, the gasket also. But you have to pay more attention that the gasket has a mark on top and also the case has an extrusion for that mark, place it correctly. Then put the back case and tighten the screws. The holes in my case are larger, therefore the usage of the longer screws that were taken from the bezel. This could be another reason for not sealing too good. Then put the back case and tighten the screws. After I have finished this sealing topic, I took the watch for a test. I have placed it under water for around 3 minutes. I have set up the time while the case pushers were not entirely dried. Now, as I'm working at this video, after 3 or 4 hours, I see that there, there is no fog on the display. For the moment, seems that I have managed to solve this issue. Well, I cannot think who could wear this watch, but an airplane pilot, maybe? We have the world time and the airplane cockpit similarities. I might be right. For sure, it maintains Casio robustness and quality for a reasonable price, as this is retailed with around 70 euros for the metal bracelet one and around 50 euros for the resin strap version. If you like this design, take it, but I recommend the metal bracelet, especially during summertime. You will not sweat that much. Thank you for your attention, wishing you the best. Make sure to subscribe.